it. Who are you? What's good, YouTube? It's YXL back with another video. Today, we're going to be showing you. Come on, focus. Today, we're going to be showing you how to get your Xbox controller. Yeah. We're gonna be showing you how to get your Xbox controller to pop up on your stream or your videos, whatever the heck you wanna be doing in your OBS and your stream labs, all that good stuff. Just follow me. We're gonna be getting straight into it. Oh, quick tip, quick tip. If you're in the weather in which is dry, windy, cold, anything like that, and it makes your lips dry, please, I'm begging you, do not do what I did. Don't do this. Don't pull at it if you're a puller. Don't do that. Grab some lip scrub, grab some chapstick, and use it. Use it. Because if you don't, you're going to be looking goofy like me and have multi-colored lips. Yes. Yes, people. Because your lips are going to have fresh skin and old skin. Well, not old skin, but I guess the normal skin that wasn't peeled. And they're not going to match up. They're not going to look the same. And look at me. Yeah. I almost didn't do a video today because I was like, ooh, you look, you look foolish. You look foolish. You shouldn't have been doing all that. No, I shouldn't have been. No, stop it. Stop it. But anyway, hey, I wasn't going to let myself be that light skinned to where I'm going to let some freaking chapped lips stop me from posting a banger for you guys. Okay? Guys and girls. Mm -hmm. Without any more further shenanigans, let's get straight into the tutorial. Follow me, shall we? All right, so once you have your controller, boom, you have your controller, the cord to your controller should already be plugged into your computer. So what you wanna do is take it, plug it in. So when you first get to the website, you're gonna see it look like this. It's probably gonna say that there are currently no game pads connected, press any button to enable. So everything should be hooked up. Plug your controller into your computer, get that all set up hit a button and then it's gonna be like boom currently viewing none you want to go to player one and once you go to player one voila everything is running smooth you can even make it look like an xbox 360 controller if you want to you can make it look like a playstation controller whatever you feel like making it look like oh that's that's nice you can make it look like gamecube if that fits your fancy you can do that but all the buttons is not gonna work so i don't advise you do that Ooh. Oh, that's clean. Like, literally, you can use all of these. I don't have any of these. So I'm going to be going to Xbox One White, even though I'm using green. I have a white one also, but it doesn't matter. Use what you want to use as far as the color is concerned. I think you can change, like, the background colors and stuff like that. Yeah, it really doesn't make a difference. You can just change the background colors if you want to, but on your stream, it's not going to show up like this. On your stream, it's going to show up like this so let me make this a little bit bigger that was a little bit wombo size but anyway so <laughs> so there you have it it is perfectly accurate so the link will be in the description for this website make sure you plug in your controller to your computer you got to do that first off hit the button then choose player one if player one doesn't work for any reason you might have to go to player two sometimes it does that but i usually just close out that web page and then go back to it and then it just lets me choose player one but in this tutorial i've been doing so many different tests on it that it was starting to tell me to click player four what stop it no but either way, it's going to work the same regardless. And so then what you want to do is once you're in the web page, let me bring back up the web page. Once you're in the web page, you want to go here. You want to go to generate URL. You're going to click this and copy it. You want to also make sure you choose the one just in case so you don't have to worry with it. I normally pick the skin that I'm actually going to be using. And then you want to copy it. And then once you copy it, you're gonna come down. This is a lot of inception that I'm gonna have to do right now. So I'm about to have to go to screen record. So get rid of that. And I'm going to go to 
display capture for a second, okay? Just for a second. All right, so in display capture, this is looking a little a little loopy. I'm gonna get rid of that. Okay, now what we're gonna have to do is hit the plus down here, and then you want to go to browser. Once you're in browser, I already have Xbox stick right there, but if I didn't have it, all I'd have to do is hit okay, and then double click on this to save that, and then paste this in. You can choose whether or not you want 60 frames per second, um, it's really up to you. And if for any strange reason you don't see it moving when you're clicking buttons and all that stuff like that, it shows on the website, but it doesn't show on your OBS. What you want to do is just restart your OBS. That should fix the problem. Hopefully, if you did these steps the exact way that I showed you how to do them, that should be the fix to it. For some reason, even if you refresh the cache on it, it says refresh down here at the bottom. If I click that, sometimes it wasn't working, but literally soon as i got done and just restarted the doggone software it was working fine so just try that before you try anything else um but anyway if this video helped you out please turn the like button subscribe to the channel if you are new for more and upcoming videos till next time it is your boy Waxel. focus on me please stop playing with me and i'm out peace okay and quickly let me say this also, if you want to use this with your Xbox One while you're playing your Xbox One but recording it, you're going to have to stream your Xbox to your computer. This is not complicated at all. All you got to do is stream it to your computer, have the box open up like this, have your, your recording software open like this, um, so you have both of them up, and then what you want to do is stream your console. So you want to go scroll down your settings, go to connection, and once you're in connection, it's going to let you choose to stream your Xbox and you can change your actual um, quality settings. You don't have to have it on high quality. And so it won't be messing up and doing some crazy stuff or using too much bandwidth and all that. You can choose low quality. That's what I do. I just go low and then make sure this is on the top. And if you click something else, like if I click this, the controller will not work. You have to click this where it's streaming the game console and then it will work perfectly. That's how I got the game footage that I show at the end of the video. So where's the box? Oh, ah, that was smooth. <laughs> I like that. That was, that was kind of smooth. Hit him with the loop de loop hop over smooth droopity doppity. I don't even know what I just said, but it's all great. All right, see somebody. I don't know why I'm using this. This is a, this glider is too humongous. Man, my health is got zoink. Yeah, I'm about to be over with. <laughs> there really was no point in me trying because like my health is super low. Land over here.
gotta try to get this drop. Get the fuck out of me. I tried, I tried, I tried. <sighs> 